Hey guys, we are back playing some more Pokemon trading card game online, and today we are going into a very simple deck, and it has Mega Manectric in it, because Mega Manectric is pretty, pretty awesome. Or is it Manectric? I think it's Manectric, I don't even know. But, Mega Manectric, let's read the attack. Attach two basic energy cards from your discard pile to one of your benched Pokemon. Um, for two energy, and it does 110 damage, I'll take that any day. It is a Mega, so you do have to end your turn when you evolve into the Mega Evolution. Except when you have Manectric Spirit Link in play, which lets you not end your turn if this card is attached to your Manectric EX. So, when you totally evolve, you don't have to end your turn. And that is amazing because second turn, we can potentially do 110 damage and attach two basic energy to our bench Pokemon. So basically the strategy is power up a lot of Manectrikes on our bench, a lot of Mega Manectrikes on our bench, and an Absol if we want, because Absol is here for um, things like Sigilyph and Suicune, we can just knock him out with Absol. But um, yeah, we will just power every, we'll try to get like four, three or four like Mega Manectrikes in play, and then the thing, another cool thing about Manectrek is he does have a free retreat cost, so once he gets hit with a big attack, he can just retreat into another Mega Manectrek, and Max Potion, we play four Max Potions in this deck, Max Potion, our Manectrek that got damaged, and then attack with the new Manectrek, and attach the two basic energy to the other Manectrek that you healed with the Max Potion, because you have to discard all energy, so you can just attach those energy again, and have a full bench of Mega Manectrek, and never get knocked out. Um, so basically, that's the strategy, and, oh my gosh, so we have a lot of things not going for us too, like, the weakness here is fighting type weakness, so, um, things like, Furious Fist decks with a lot of fighting type Pokemon will easily knock out Mega Manectric, and we don't want that. So, we have Shadow Energy, not Shadow Energy, Darkness Energies, combined with Shadow Circle here. So we have each of your Pokemon that has any Dark Energy attacks to it has no weakness. So if we have Shadow Circle in play, combined with the Darkness Energy, we don't need to, dis to worry about the... Well, we kind of need to worry about it, but... We don't need to really worry about it, uh, I mean, that's just one of our strategy, just to get rid of that weakness. We still have to worry about it, because they can just play down a fight, uh, not a fight, uh, like, yeah, a fighting stadium, or whatever stadium card they want, just to get rid of that, so they can get the weakness back. But, well, that's our best plan of action here, just a uh, stadium card for that purpose, to get rid of the weakness. And, there's something else too, what is it? Um, oh yes, S status conditions, we have Sparkling Robe in here, um, and we just, basically, the Sparkling Robe gets rid of special conditions. Uh, so we do play Tool Retriever in this deck in order to take off those Manectric Spirit Links and put on the Sparkling Robe instead of the Manectric. Because once you evolve, you don't have to, you don't, this card is pointless. So, once we take the Tool Retriever, and pick up the Manectric Spirit Links, we can put them on another Manectric EX and evolve another Manectric Mega Evolve it. Um, we also play Lysander, Lysander's Trump Card, Pokemon Fan Club, one of each of those, and then we have a few draw supports here, um, and we do have VS Seekers in play, combined with Ultra Balls to get some energy in the discard pile. So, that's the deck, so let's try to play with it now and totally own some noobs. Actually, I don't know. This deck isn't the greatest, but it is pretty good. I mean, it is, it is. You know, just Mega, Mega Manectric by itself is just good. So, that's basically all you need to know. Mega Manectric is OP. Not really, but almost. Almost. Combined with other cards, I'm sure, it's like an amazing deck. Um, but I just wanted to have like a simple deck here, just to show off Mega Manectric and not have, like, Landruses and all those other junks in the deck. We just want to show off Mega Manectric for now. We might do other other decks later that involve Mega Manectric and other types of Pokemon, like Landorus EX and stuff like that. But for now, we're just going to stick with the Mega Manectric EX and see how it does by itself, because I like simple decks. Simple decks, you can't make too many mistakes, but you can make some mistakes, but not too many. Not too many. 
So if I can get a Skyla top deck here, that would be great, but I don't think it's going to happen. We have three ends, which is pretty good, and I don't know what's happening here. Um, this guy's taking forever. Greg Ninjas. Maybe you will play Greg Ninjas, but maybe you will not. You got 15 seconds to decide whether you're going to play or not, Greg Ninjas. He's probably been waiting in the, in the, to find a game for a while now, and I probably just popped up and surprised him, but he's here. And I'm going to put down my Manectric EX. So I do have one shiny. And I also have one not shiny. No, I mean, what am I saying? I do have one, like, shiny gold trimmed Manectric. But... This guy looks like he might be playing... Hypnotoxic lasers because he does have evil tall and absol. But um, what was I saying? Um, I don't know what I was saying. Um, oh yeah, I do have like one full art Manectric EX and one like gold trimmed. Is it called shiny? I don't even know. Um, Secret rare. That's what it's called. Secret rare Mega Manectric. So he's gonna end me, which I'm kind of fine with. I kind of want to get my Manectric EX out next turn. Uh, my Mega, that is. But it looks like I'm not getting what I want. <laughs> I do have another Manectric EX. We probably will computer search for a Juniper or something, hopefully. But there's a Mewtwo. Um, hopefully we see an Evil Tall EX. Ooh, there it is. So I can Lysander out that Evil Tall and knock him out with one hit. Because he is weak to my Manectric. Unless I have the Shadow Circle in play. But I'm not going to play those because he doesn't have any fighting types. So I'm just going to um, not play those. I'm going to put this down. I'm probably going to discard my Shadow Circle here. Or... No, yeah. I can't really get the. I could get the Mega Manectric in play right now, but I couldn't. Get, I wouldn't get the attack off because I just wouldn't have that ability. So we are going to probably get a Juniper in play right now, and then we'll see if we can draw into a Mega Manectric um, and a Spirit Link. But if we can't, that's fine. We are just going to put the sparkling robe down for now, um, just so we don't have to discard it. We can pick it up later if we need to, but it looks like we didn't get it. Oh man, we're doing 120 damage right now with the Manectric with the second attack. We do have this other Manectric in our hand. Is it worth it though? Should I just get a Mega in play right now? I think I'm just going to get the Mega in play right now. Um, I'm going to use the Professor's Letter just to get some energy in the discard pile. Uh, probably two of the darkness energy, because I'm running low on electric energy, apparently. So, we're just going to get these darkness energies in our discard pile, get a Mega in play, and I'm not even going to attack this turn. I'm just going to get the Mega, and let him attack me again, and hopefully get a Lysander or something. So we do get the Mega, we have to end our turn, which is kind of disappointing, but I wouldn't have knocked out the Evil Tall anyways. Um, so it's kind of, you know... Why not just get the Mega in play if you're not going to knock him out, right? That's how that's how I got to feel about that. So, next turn we will knock out this Evil Tall unless he does something weird, and then I won't. But, I might. Uh, if I can get a Lysander in play, I'm just going to go straight for the Evil Tall EX. Um, but, he is going to Sycamore, so if he has a Darkness Energy up, he's going to start powering up something on his bench. And there is a Verbank City Gym and a Hypnotoxic Laser, so I sh probably should have put the Sparkling Robe on my active. Um, hopefully I can do that, because he's doing 60 damage to me right now. Um, and that's not beneficial. And there's a Muscle Band. <laughs> okay, so I might need to do something here in order to not lose. Um, <laughs> no Toxic Laser again, okay, he's just trying to put me to sleep at this point, um, which I'm fine with because I hopefully can get a Sparkling Robe in play. All I need is a Tool Retriever or a Sparkling Robe, and then I will be able to get the Sparkling Robe in play. But if I want to play it safe, I can use this VS Seeker and get a Skyla and get a Sparkling Robe or a Tool Retriever, but my other Sparkling Robe, I have one more left, so... I don't know, he's going to power up his Evil Tall here, and I do not wake up. Um, let me see if this Evil Tall can actually knock me out. I have three uh, more Minectric on my bench, but let's see here. So I'm doing, he's, this Evil Tall can potentially, one, two, three, four, 
five. He's doing easily one, two, three, four. Yeah. He's easily knocking me out next turn with that evil tall EX. <sighs> so I kind of want to retreat my Manek Trike here and try to get something, but I'm just going to play the Juniper, and there is the Tool Retriever, um, so I can definitely um, just pick up my item cards and play it safe. So, let's see here. I'm going to evolve one of my Manectric here, because, oh shoot, dang it! Okay, well, I guess I can just pick it up anyways. I put it on the one that can't evolve. What the heck, Tyler, you're kind of a noob. Okay, we're going to do this, get rid of that poison, and then we're going to do this. I kind of want to attack this turn, so I'm not going to attach it to the one that has an energy. I'm just going to evolve this turn, and I'm going to treat this, this when you get my next strike, and then we're going to try to you know, do some damage to this evil tall, I guess. Um, dang it. I, I'm just going to do damage here. I'm just going to do damage. I'm just going to do some damage. Okay. Damage is all I need to do. I probably should have tried to attack with a Mega, but uh, I didn't really want to waste that. Because, um, like I said, he's just going to knock me out. I, sh I probably should have took the chance, because I do have another Mega powered up already, or in play already. Um, I do have a Sparkling Robe on that one, but uh, I guess I don't really want to knock him out. Um, I might just let this guy get knocked out here at this point. Because I'm I can just keep attacking, do a little bit of damage at a time, and then just heal this one and start powering him up. That's probably what I'm gonna do. As long as I get some energy. <laughs> so there's 50 damage. And no energies. And it looks like I did get an N here. I'm probably just gonna max potion at this point. Get rid of those energy, that's kind of a bother. And I don't know if I have too many electric energy left in my deck, so that's kind of annoying too. But, I think I'm going to leave my hand the way it is and just attack. And, I maybe should have end, but at the same time, he doesn't really have anything in his hand either, so I don't really want to do that. Um, once he does use the porter, I'll probably just end. But at this rate, I think I'm in a better position than he is. All I need to do is get an energy and then I can start being awesome. But there's a dark ride, so he can retreat for free now if he very well chooses. And this evil tall EX is on the bench, ready to come out and do a big hit on my guys. A very big hit indeed. Okay, so there's another 50. That evil tall can now knock me out. One, two, three, four. Well, not really. Not not yet. But there's another Mega Manek Strike. <laughs> Oh man, I should just like max potion and heal. Um, but not really. I kind of want to end. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna keep attacking. I'm just gonna keep attacking. Uh, put 80 or 20 on the Absol. Maybe I can get that knockout in the Absol. Maybe. I maybe should have actually went for the Mewtwo instead. But oh well. We're going to hopefully knock out this Evil Tall next turn. He's probably just going to retreat, put an energy on the Evil Tall. And maybe not, though, because he doesn't have a really good hand. So maybe he doesn't even have an energy to... Because he needs to attach one more energy or a muscle band or something in order to knock out my Manek trick. Wait, wait. One, two, three, four. Oh, he's doing 80. So he can just retreat and knock me out here. But then I could... If I can get an energy out next turn, then I could knock him out as well. So, we'll see. I was, think I, had, I was thinking I had 100 HP left. I don't know why I was thinking that. But I really don't have too many electric energy. Um, this guy's thinking. He doesn't know what to do. He's just going to attach to the Darkrai. And there's a startling megaphone. Gets rid of my, my neck strike stuff and my other thing. But um, he does not even go for the knockout. And now I can probably just max potion. Um, retreat, max potion. And then call it good. That's probably what I'm going to do. Retreat into the Manectric with an energy on it. And then I'm just going to max potion my Manectric on my bench. <laughs> and then I'm just going to end. I, I know he's going to get a good hand now, but um, there is two electric energy, which is perfect. Um, but I kind of wanted to 
Well, yeah, I'll just go with this. Um, I'm going to put the sparkling robe on here just in case. He's probably going to get something out. And I'm just going to attack and put two energy on the bench. Sounds good to me. Too bad I didn't get that Lysander, though, but that's okay. I'm going to put these guys probably on this Mega Manectric so then we can have that Mega Manectric max potioning um, cycle going on. It's going to be glorious. I've never actually had it work before. Actually, I don't know. Uh, it probably has worked before, but um, it's going to work now. Um, I do have two max potions in my discard pile. I have a lot of things in my discard pile, actually. Um, I do have more energy, though, which is good. There's the Mewtwo starting to get powered up, and I have some or some damage on the Absol still, yeah, but there's a 30 to my Mega Manectrike, and now this he's going to have to do a lot in order to knock me out in one hit, especially since I have the Sparkling Robe, so he can't even poison me to get that extra damage for the knockout, so that's good for me. That is good for me. Okay, so we do have more energy in her hand. Hopefully I can get another Ma Manectric Spirit Link to power up another Mega Manectric, but we'll see. He puts an energy on the Darkrai, and I could get an Absol in play, but I think Manectric might be a better option. Uh, I'm just going to go for the Absol, and then get rid of these cards that I don't really need anymore. I guess the the Ultra Ball would have been a good... Uh, I don't know, I could have saved the Ultra Ball. Oh well. Um, we're just going to start powering up another Manectric here. And then we're just going to end and get rid of his hand and get me... And there is more Manectric Spirit Links. So I'm just going to put that down. Evolve. And now we have three Mega Manectrics in play. Okay. That is how you do it. And we have a Max Potion in our hand. Oh man, we're just looking good. We're just going to attach these energies to our second Mega Manectric. Third Mega Mega Manectric. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Okay, we get to take a prize. We still haven't seen the Lysander yet. I don't even know if I have it in my deck. I guess I could have looked for that. Um, but at this, at this rate, it doesn't really matter. Um, if he does knock out my Mega Manectric at this point, I don't really care because I have two more in play. But there is a Mewtwo, and this is going to be great. He's going to put a big hit on me. Probably not even that big of a hit. Um, but I can just re retreat, max potion, attach the energy back on, and we're good to go. That is how you play this deck. That is great. Okay, this this evil tall dark rye Mewtwo deck is going down. Yeah, that's right. Darkness deck, go away. This is actually probably one of the best decks in the format. Actually, I don't know. it used to be a, one of the best decks in the format, but um, I don't know. So, I could Juniper. Um, but I don't think I want to do that. <sighs> I'm going to retreat into my Mega, like I said. And then lay off an attack, put the Max Potion down. Um, I'm going to see what kind of cards I have in my deck. Um, if I have a Lysander Trump card, that would be cool, but uh, it's Pride, so... I don't really want a Juniper, otherwise I'm probably going to run out of a deck. Um, probably, huh, I don't know what to get. I'll probably just get the Mega Manectric just in case, you know, I can just evolve if I need to. Um, yeah, we're just going to attack. Attach two energy that we discarded with the Max Potion and put them back on my Mega. And now we're, oh, I think we're looking good. I think we're looking plentifully good. Because next turn, this Mewtwo is going to get knocked out. Um, he can poison me at this point, though, because I don't have the uh, Sparkling Robe on my active Pokemon right now. But that is okay. <laughs> Who would have ever thought to get three Mega Manectric in play at the same time? It just doesn't happen. But he could put an attack on me, and I could just retreat. Um, I don't have any Max Potions, but I could just retreat. And then keep the damaged Manectric on my bench, and then keep cycling out until I do get a Max Potion, and then I can just start healing off. Um, but at this rate, I think I'm looking pretty good, because he has to go through three Mega Manectric in order to win. And that's going to be insanely hard, especially since his Evil Tall on the bench has weakness, and Lysander is still somewhere in my deck. 
So, we are looking good. We are looking very good. We are looking very, very, very good. So, I, I just noticed this. I have a Mega Manek Strike deck, and I have Mega Gengar sleeves right now. Thanks again to Anojin for giving me these sleeves, because he gives me stuff all the time sometimes. But yes, Greg Ninjas. This guy doesn't know what he wants to do. He he he's probably has a tough decision in his life right now. What do I want to do? Um, the best decision would be attaching that energy, but not really. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, he's doing 120. And like I said, I can just retreat. Um, I do have a Shauna, so I could just Shauna, hopefully get a Lysander. That's better than Junipering, and there is the Lysander. So we do have one energy. I'm just going to retreat into my Sparkling Robe Manectrike, so he can't even poison me now. And I'm just going to attack. Next turn, I can Lysander out that Mewtwo. Or not the Mewtwo, the Ly... Uh, Evil Tall, and totally win the game. Okay, that's what the plan is. He just knocked out a Mewtwo, and... Oh, man, yeah, he has nowhere to go at this point. No possible thing could... Even if you lie standard out this Manectrike, that would not do anything for him, because he has to take six more prizes yet, and that would only give him two. So, and if he saw my hand right now, he would be like, I lost. Unless he has an N. If he had an N, something could happen. But at this point, I don't think he's going to have that. He's just going to power up his Dark Rive, start doing bench damage to my Lysander! Um, but yeah, like I said, it doesn't really matter because I have a Lysander too. Um, the best thing he could have possibly done was play an N. But he is going to knock out my one of my Minect Strikes at least. But that's not going to do it. Because I can just Lysander out his Evil Tall and win the game here. Even if I didn't have the Lysander, I could just knock out this Dark Rive in a couple hits. And I would still have two Manectrike in play, so... I'm just gonna bring out my Manectrike, EX, Mega! And a Lysander out, that evil soul. Knock it out, for the weakness. 220 damage, and 2 energy to one of my bench Pokémon. That is the game, and we just beat an evil tall deck. Nobody can beat an evil tall deck. And the last prize I chose is a Lysander's Trump card. So, let's see if we can... Ooh, we got another pack. Ooh, we got another pack. Okay, so we're going to play another game. Um, that was actually a pretty long game. Um, he probably had to do a lot of thinking in order to win that match, uh, but he didn't even win. So, uh, but it looks like he's gonna get to go first here because he did get the flip chosen in his direction. Unless he chooses me, but he didn't. So, um, looks like we're playing a Raichu Don Fan. Okay. So this is the match where we're going to have to get our Shadow Circle in play in order to get rid of the weakness on the Manectrike because he has a lot of Dawn Fan in his deck. So hopefully he doesn't knock me out pretty quickly here. Um, hopefully I can get that Spirit Link in play as soon as possible. Um, but there is a Suicune. So I'm going to have to get my Absol in play and hope that he gets a big bench. But he's getting that he's getting that bench powered up already. The Fampy is a resistant to my Manek Strike anyways, so oh man. Um I could Skyla for an energy. No no not an energy. I could Skyla for Spirit Link, and then Evolve next turn, or I could Skyla for a Shadow Circle, but then that would risk him putting Fighting Stadiums down and getting rid of my Shadow Circles early in the game, I don't really want that to happen. So we're just going to Skyla for a Spirit Link here, and just put it down, and hope, and hopefully he doesn't have a... I don't know, hopefully he doesn't have something. <laughs> Shoot. Uh, well, I can attack with my Manek Strike here and uh, do 20 damage to the bench, but that's all I'm going to be able to do. Um, my Mega can come out next turn, so that's the fastest Mega you can pos possibly ask for. But there's a Dawn Fan and a Keldeo. Um, the bigger the bench, the better, and he has three energy on his Dawn Fan already. And there's an N, so hopefully I can draw a Mega Manek Strike again. And I do. And there's an Absol, which is perfect, because now I can just bring out that Absol, knock out the Suicune eventually. Um, and he doesn't have any way to 
get that Dawn fan out and attack. So I can just get the Mega Manectric out and put the Absol down. Um, at this point, I kind of want to get something. <laughs> Um, I want to get an Ultra Ball. I want to power up my Absol. That's what I want to do. And I want to have a supporter as well. But I don't have one of those, so I'm just going to have to wait it out and hope that I can get something. But... He's probably not going to load up his bench now because he sees my Absol. My Absol is doing 60 damage. Um, so if I can get that Absol out, that'd be great. But my Absol has a weakness as well. Oh man, and here comes a big attack from the Dawn fan. Um, he's going to be able to do... He's probably going to get a Float Stone with a Karina, I'm guessing, or a Switch. There's a Float Stone. So he's probably going to be able to do 160. He's probably going to be able to do... He can potentially... If he gets a stadium card in play, he's doing a lot of damage. Um, but he's going to be doing 100, 200 damage if he doesn't get a stadium card in play. So that is perfect for me because I can just... You know, this is not working out very well. Don Fan decks are jerks. Okay. He's doing 200 damage, but that's fine because I do have max potions in this deck so I can just get the max potion in play, do whatever I want. Um, but... He's not actually going to attack with Wreck uh, because I don't know why. Why didn't he attack with Wreck? Probably because it wouldn't have knocked me out anyways, and he didn't really want to risk his Don Fan getting knocked out, um, which he wouldn't have. But I don't know, whatever. Jeez, I am not getting much. I'm just gonna get another Mega Manectric out so he can't knock me out, and then. Hope that I can get a supporter card or something. Um, yeah, I'm just going to get another Mega. And Evolve. And Retreat. And End Turn. I need to get a supporter card. Otherwise, I'm not going to win at all. So hopefully I can get a supporter. He's definitely powering up another Dawn fan on the bench, so I need to get a Shadow Circle in play. I need to get a lot of things. And I can't even attack because the Suicune is blocking everything I own. So now I'm doing 80 damage with the Absol. If he puts one more bench damage, one more bench Pokemon down, I can knock out the Suicune in one hit. Otherwise, I can't. So he's just going to bring out the Dawn fan and do 120 damage. Yeah, that's probably his best bet. He's going to go back into the Suicune. Oh, man. And there is the awesome, 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 awesome Juniper. Top deck Juniper. Okay, sweet. Thank you. Now I have all the energy in play. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. I'm kind of wanting to wait until he gets... I can't wait. I have to attack with the Suicune now. Um... And then he's going to discard my stadium to do wreck, but then I can just knock him out. So, I think that's my best option. I'm just going to go for the... Maybe that's a bad idea. I'm just going to put a, a darkness energy on the Absol. Retreat for free. Put down that. Retreat. And then attack. Not knocking him out like I said. But I am doing 80 damage. And that 80 damage is going to give me some awesome things. So, if he wants to knock out my Absol... Oh, no, not another Suicune. See, now I could do 100 damage to a Suicune. No problem, but... Um, he's just in a Russian retreat going to the Dawn fan. He's not going to knock me out, but he could wreck knock me out, but then I can just knock him out with my Mega. Uh, 60, which is not a knockout, so he's not going to knock me out, and he's going to bring out a Suicune, and now, hopefully, I can get a Lysander. Nope. Um, but I can attach an energy... If I want. Um, I kind of want to get a max potion before I attach an energy. Oh, man. I'm going to attach an energy. And then I'm just going to end. And hope to get something. Another Absol. Sweet. That is actually pretty pretty nice. But don't get a supporter off that. 
Um, but I do have, like I said, uh, my, my Medic Strike powered up. And there's a Lysander's Trump card, which is not a Lysander, which is unfortunate. But at least I have another Absol on my bench. That is nice to see because of that silly little Suicune. And that silly little Suicune is going to be a big, big, big jerk. Maybe instead of having Absol, I could run some... Oh my goodness, that is the greatest idea ever. Instead of Absol, I should just run Garbodor. Get rid of all abilities. Why didn't I think of that? Because then my Manectra I can just knock out the Suicune anyways. Why am I running Absol? Why am I running Absol? <laughs> um, that's a good question. And I don't have a good answer for that. I don't. I have no answer for that because I'm running so many item cards anyways. Okay, he's knocking out my Absol. Hopefully we can win this game anyways. But there is the Suicune. So, I'm just going to have to... Bring out my Mega. We didn't even get... Oh, man. We didn't get... Well, we didn't get what we wanted to get in play, um, which was something. I don't even know. I don't even know what it was. Okay, so it looks like we are going to have to use this, get these cards back into our hand. Now I'm really disappointed that I'm not running Garboder. What the heck? We'll have to play another game after this, but um, I'm just going to put down these things. I guess I get Lysander's trump card, but at this rate, that will only decrease my chances of getting a supporter. And I really need a supporter. So I'm just going to probably just attack. Attach two energies to my Absol again. Oh, man. And then we can probably knock out the Suicune. Um, which is alright with me. So we're just going to attach to our Absol. He has a full bench, so I can, can knock out the Suicune in one hit. Um, but he's going to knock out my Mega Manectric this turn. Uh, actually, he might not, though. Because if he doesn't use Wreck, then... Oh, dang it. If he doesn't use Wreck, yeah, my Absol will knock him out anyways. But he's going to get another Dawn Fan powered up. But the Shadow Circle, I don't know. There's a, many different things he can do. And one of them probably is going to be my detriment. But he's going to rush and retreat probably to the Halucha. Probably not, though. Because he has to knock me out this turn. Otherwise, I'm just going to start knocking him out. Um, yeah, if he doesn't wreck, I don't know why he wouldn't, I mean, if he doesn't wreck, he's not knocking me out, but then I can knock him out with my Absol, so well, we'll see. Um, I can get another Mega Manectric and play next turn, and there's a startling Megaphone, but I still have uh, the Magstrike Spirit Link in my hand, so I'm fine with that. I'm actually pretty fine with that. There's 160 damage, he did use wreck. Now he has another Dawn Fan powered up anyways. So now he... Oh my gosh. I'm really disappointed that I don't have a Garboder. Because he couldn't use Keldeo. He couldn't use Suicune. I'd be doing so much better this game. I don't know why. I don't know why. I just don't. I just don't know why. And we're going to power up a fresh Manectric here. And I think I'm just going to Lysander's Trump card... But like I said, I have so many supporters in my deck that I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to Mind Jack here, do 120 damage. He's going to knock me out next turn. And he's just going to go into a Suicune, and I'm going to be screwed. So basically, I'm going to lose. I should have probably Lysander's Trump card, but... Yeah, I'm going to lose. I'm going to lose this game to the max. I'm going to lose. I'm going to lose. Maybe a float stone instead of the sparkling robe. If I put a garboder in here. I, I'm really thinking about putting a garboder because, yeah, like I can't even knock out the Suicune now. If I did have a garboder, I could totally knock out the Suicune. And I wouldn't be weak to stupid fighting. Um, so, <laughs> that's probably my best bet. Um, there's another, yeah, I lost. There's no way I'm winning this. Um, I don't have an energy. <laughs> um, unless I can get a Lysander. I'm just going to Lysander's Trump card, because if I don't get an Absol, I'm not going to win. Because this Suicune is just going to power through everything and be a jerk. But now he's going to get another Suicune back in his deck. 
I'm just gonna lose all over the place. Okay, I'm gonna retreat into this Manek Trike because he doesn't have an energy. I, I can I can lose that one, but if I don't have to, that'd be cool too. Um, I don't have a hand, so if I can top deck a Juniper again, that'd be great. But now I have a lot less of a chance of top decking anything I want, so I'm probably gonna lose. I'm not. I have no idea why I'm not running Garboder because I'm not using any abilities in this deck at all. But there's a Keldeo. Oh man, his deck would be so bad if it didn't have abilities. Like, I would be winning right now. So much. He's probably gonna do, what, 120 to me again. There's a Kiram on his bench. I really want a Juniper. If you can give me a Juniper game, if this card is a Juniper, I'll be super happy. If it's not, that's fine. But I'll just lose. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Thank you, game! Thank you for being a <laughs> Wow, um, and there's a shadow circle to top it off. Oh man, I don't even know what to say to that. I don't even know what to say. Um... <laughs> that was great. Um, I'm just going to- and I, look at this. I even have a VS Seeker. I'm gonna bring out my Manectric here. And start doing bench damage, 20 by 20 by 20. Um, if I can do 20 to the Dawn Fan, that means my Mega can knock him out in one hit if I ever get him active. But there's a Shadow Circle. <laughs> that is great! I top deck that Juniper like nothing else. We're gonna overrun, put 20 damage on that Dawn Fan, so hopefully we can Lysander him out and knock him out with my Mega. That would be glorious. And then he'll be left with nothing. Oh man, thank you Juniper for getting the top deck. <laughs> that was great. That was game changing. Game He's probably gonna go for something that will get- Oh, he doesn't even have- Oh, he doesn't even have anything. <laughs> um, but he doesn't have- what was I saying? He doesn't have something. I don't know. Um, but he doesn't have a stadium card. So that's great, because my Shadow Circle is in play, and 60 damage, yes. Thank you, Shadow Circle, thank you so much. Okay, here comes the Suicune, yet again, and there's another VS Seeker. So I'm just gonna, ooh, wait, 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 bad idea, undo that section. I'm gonna attach an energy to my, this Mega. I want a Darkness energy attached, so I don't have to lose. Uh, I'm just gonna use VS Seeker, get a Juniper, use a Juniper, Oh man, I'm so glad I got that Juniper, that was so helpful. Um, we have a Max Potion now, and we can just start doing damage. Um, to the Keldeo? No, that would take forever. Um, to the other Dawn fan, there's a Lysander in my hand, so we- wait. I have to do it to this Dawn fan. No! Oh yeah, yeah. This Dawn fan, because he does have a resistance. So now I can actively knock this guy out with 90. Oh my goodness. Oh my- all I need is an energy. Dang it, I probably should have attached it to this stupid Manectric. Oh well. Um, if I can, it doesn't... If I do top deck an energy, that'd be great. Come on, game. Give me an energy. <laughs> I, I don't expect an energy at all. Because... That would just be... That would just be crazy. <laughs> but, can you give me an energy? Or a professor's letter? All I need is a darkness energy. Or a regular energy will be just fine. A, a psychic, or not a psychic, uh, electric energy. Okay, so he's gonna do 60 more damage to me. Not knocking me out. <laughs> I have max potions in my hand, so I can just max potion. But there's another Suicune. Juniper. Okay, um, I'm going to have to sacrifice somebody here. I kind of want to get an Absol in play as well, so I'm fine with this. I kind of want to... I can't attack and knock him out, though, which is disappointing. Um, but I can just Max Potion, or I could Colrus, or I could N... But I think I want to get a, a Absol out, just in case. I'm going to resume. Um, I kind of want a Colrus, though. Just so I can get an energy. 
Uh, I don't know what. I'm just gonna Pokemon Band Club. Get two Absol in play. Just so I can have them to knock out these stupid Suicune. I've knocked out two Suicunes already. And then my Minectric will get knocked out and he will win unless I retreat into uh, Minectric EX Mega. So I'm just gonna do that. Heal my Minectric so he doesn't Lysander it out or something and end my turn. Okay, so if I can top deck an energy now, that would be the most beneficial thing ever. 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 Because I can Lysander without having to call risk, but there's a Lysander on mine. So there's an Absol. He's going to knock out my Absol. And that will leave me with one more, one, one more prize left to deal with. Um, so hopefully... I can use that Lysander to get an energy out. Dang it, this video is getting so long and this is only the second game. Okay, so he's going to knock me out. Bring out the stupid Suicune. Uh, but now, my big bad Manectric. Um, no energy, wow. No energy at all. I probably should have attached the electric energy, but I, whatever. I'm just going to call this. Um, and there is the energy. But he's just going to knock me out with a dawn fan because I don't have a darkness energy. Oh man, that was, was kind of dumb, but he just won. I can't do anything. He's just going to, oh, unless he doesn't have an energy in his hand, I probably should have end him. Oh well. Oh well. Yeah, I can't do anything. I can't do anything. Um, unless he can't get an energy in play, and my shadow circle won't get discarded. If there's a Lysander, like I probably, I, I had assumed he had that anyways. I probably should have ended, but that would have put me to four instead. So, good game, North B. Good game. Um, I'm gonna put a Garboder in this deck. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a Garboder. Why don't I have a Garboder? Why don't, why don't I have a Garboder? That's the dumbest thing I've ever not done. Looks like I got a Fire Energy. Okay, we're putting Garboder in here right now. Garboder. 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 Okay. Um, should we have the. Yeah, we'll have the old art. Because old art looks cooler. Trubbish. Tool drop, nah, which one's better? I don't know. People always use this one. Why is this one so cool? I don't even know. Um, he has to retreat. Oh man. Okay. Well, what's this guy do? Why don't Why don't you people use this one? Probably because it's not in format. <laughs> Probably standard. Okay. Yeah, it's out of format. Okay. Uh, tool drop, pile up. What's this one do? Flip it going to heads. Two different one. Tool card reveal and put into your hand. Yeah, um, I'm just gonna use this one. You know, I don't even know which one to use. Probably this one because it has a one retreat, right? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so now we can get rid of some things that we don't need. Probably get rid of an energy. Um, we need to get one rid of one more card. What do I want to get rid of? Tool retriever? Not really. Kind of. I already got rid of one Shadow Circle. Um, an extra Spear Link is probably going to stay. Probably a Sparkling Robe. Yeah, I, I don't know. But I need all the Pokemon tools I can have. So I'm going to get rid of a Sparkling Robe. Put in a Float Stone for the Garboder, just in case. And then I can just use that instead of... Okay, whatever. Um, I need to get rid of one card though. I kind of want to keep the Lysander because it's really useful. Um, max potion. I don't really need all those max potions. I mean, I, I guess you know. I could get rid of an energy too. I don't know. Probably gonna get rid of an energy. Put put my max potion count back up. I only need really ten energy, right? Um, okay, there we have it. A Garboder. A Garboder. This video is getting really long, so I have to end the episode now. 
um, we might see another Garbodor. I'm going to test this deck out, see if it's good with Garbodor or not, but yeah, that's what we're going to do. So, be sure to like this video if you like it, guys. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you've not, and we'll see you next episode, guys. Thanks for watching.